And uh, yesterday I did win an award. So we got to talk a little bit about this, the Streamer Awards. Now, you could say I won two awards because uh, OTK, uh, the org, I'll talk about that a bit more. Uh, the org that I own, uh, along with the other uh, gentlemen, um, also won an award. And I want to talk about uh, why I'm, I'm happy about that, everything like that. So, yeah, I kind of, I came back with two awards. And then on top of that, I uh, I also won Best MMO Streamer of the Year. Yeah, the, the thing, XQC didn't win Best Streamer of the Year. I feel like that, I mean... The guy that won is like dating the person that does the show. Like, ooh, you, you know what I mean? Like, I, that, isn't that isn't that a situation? You know what I mean? Isn't that a little bit of a situation? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, t to me, here's the way I see it: is like, it, it, it's so weird because like, you have and like, I, I can't believe I won anything. By the way, like, I, how many how many years how many months did I even stream last year? Like three, <laughs> I streamed three months out of the year and I got two awards. How the fuck did that happen? Yeah, I didn't stream at all. And so anyway, um, let's talk a little bit about this. Did Quinn win any awards? No, uh, I, I don't think Quinn did. Uh, it, yeah, I'm pretty sure he didn't. So this is how I see it. Okay, is that um, it, it's it's like, okay, so I think that there's like three people in my opinion maybe four and like I just can't think of the fourth one uh but like there's like three people that I think would probably deserve streamer of the year it would be I, I do think Ludwig is on the list because he does try like Ludwig there's people that don't like Ludwig right and like that's fine you don't like Ludwig guys like Ludwig threw you into the garbage can in high school I understand however I do think that he's a nice guy and he's a good streamer so the fact is that, um, you know, I, I like the guy and I think that he does put a lot of work. He puts a lot of work into his content. Like uh, overall, I think Ludwig, whenever he goes live on his stream, generally has more of a plan than most of us other streamers do. And I think that's something to be admired. I think that's something to aspire to. That's a good thing. So I, that's why I say like, yeah, Ludwig did that. And uh, also on top of that, Ludwig also did the subathon that was groundbreaking. And now everybody's doing a subathon. I wonder why. How many subs did he get again? <laughs> so yeah, everybody's doing a subathon. So so basically he started a trend that, that's been going on for an entire year. And then, okay, so those are the two reasons, the main two reasons why I think Ludwig should have won. XQC, why should XQC win? Because um, like, I, I think that probably his shortest stream that he did was like eight hours yesterday or nine hours yesterday. He's done all year and he did that to go to an award show where he doesn't get the fucking award, right? He streams all the fucking time. He streams all kinds of games and also he gets great viewership. He gets good viewers on YouTube. He gets good interactions on Twitter. He's very popular, right? XQC is uh, he's the number one streamer right now. He is. He's been popping off and, and he's earned it. He grinds every fucking day. I mean, like, maybe he misses a day here or there because of sleep schedule or some fucking bullshit, but he grinds every fucking day. And that's the big reason, right? Being able to to, to play any fucking game and, and make it entertaining for the audience, that's a talent. That really is. That is a talent. Like, I don't care about the viewer numbers or whatever. The fact that he can make the wrestling game funny to watch is impressive. And on top of that, he can go and play an FPS or whatever else, right? Few streamers can do that. And the other third person that nobody seems to talk about, and why is that? It's because he's Spanish, is iBuy. In my opinion, iBuy has had more growth than Ludwig and XQC. But nobody sees this because it's in another culture. That guy is so fucking massive. He collaborated with Messi. He's putting on TV quality shows regularly on Twitch. His production quality is next fucking level. He's been able to create a network of content creators for the Spanish streaming audience that people really know and love. You talk about like uh, fucking El Shokas. That's the first one I can think of, right? But like you've also got other guys too. Like what are all the other names uh, for that? Messi? Well, I don't remember no uh, all the other names Gauls yeah Gauls as well exactly um yeah plenty of them man 
Lujuan, Quiet. Yeah, these guys are or in play. Yeah, that's the guy. And Ruby. I, I didn't know if Rubius was part of that uh, that circle or not, but yeah, I guess so. That's what would make sense. Uh, or on play. Yeah, and you see these guys at the top of Twitch all the time. He collaborates with them and he makes content with them all the time. The guy is making massive fucking moves. He's probably a literal celebrity where he lives. Like this is massive, okay? But here's the problem. We just live in a bubble. Yes. Uh, I, whenever, whenever, if anybody says who to I buy, please recognize that you are living in a bubble. Please recognize that you are spending too much time on live stream fails and you need to actually look at what these numbers are. These guys are working their ass off. They're making great fucking content and they are doing it. And the only reason you don't notice it is because it's not in English. And I understand that, right? I get it. And this is an English speaking award show. So it makes sense that he probably wouldn't have won. But I think that all three of those guys, Ludwig, XQC, and I buy, I think all three of them would have deserved it. Like, and I'm sorry, you know, it's not, I, I'm not going to go and say, oh, this is the guy who really deserved it. This is the guy who really deserved it. The, the fact is, like, you just have, you, you, you have, it's like, how do you compare a car, a computer, and um, a, a really good steak or something like that, right? Like, these are three things that are just completely different for completely different purposes. Like, how can you compare, yeah, a car, a computer, and a cell phone or something like that? Uh, like, yeah, how do you how do you compare these things? Which one is better? Which one is not better? And so that's how I see it. So, like, an honorable mention? Well, I think that they all are honorable mentions, right? But that's the way I see it. The award's not about effort. It's about love. The thing is, we are streaming because not just you, especially on Zach Rar. No, I, I know a lot of people like my streams. And the fact is, like, let's be honest. Like, I didn't really spend a whole lot of time telling people to vote for me. I think that if some of the other MMO streamers, I think S-Fan could have probably got more votes than me if he had gone and fucking told everybody to vote for him, right? And I think XQC is the same way, right? XQC is like, I oh, gives a fuck if I win or not, right? It is what it is. And so, it, it, like, maybe Ludwig made a video. I think Ludwig made a video about it. So it helped his votes. It's just what makes sense. So yeah, that's the way I see it. Are you saying I didn't win? It's okay, man. Like the thing is that it's all it's all for fun, and I think the people that take it th the most seriously are the people that are the least involved. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like everybody going there had fun, they enjoyed themselves, etc. And I think that's what really matters the most. And so that's the way I'm looking at it, right? Is that uh, most authentic streamers seen? I mean, like the thing is, listen, everybody is authentic to a degree, but what you see on camera isn't the same as I act around my dad, right? Well, actually, I mean, my dad, my dad and I were both uh, we're both huge assholes, and so to be honest, uh, it is pretty much about the same. But um, you know, maybe around like my mom or like you know other family members or something like that you know I go over to Zach's grandma's house and Mick Rudy's grandma's house and you know I'm not gonna act the exact same way as I act on stream you know what I mean so that's how I see it anyway so I, I wanted to say why well, did Rich make out on stream it was gross I, I well who gives a fuck um so anyway this is how I see it is that these award shows are always a superficial popularity contest because the truth is that there are people that are innovating on stream every single year. And I will give you some examples of people that could be considered streamer of the year, but nobody would consider them because they just simply don't put up the numbers that the other guys do. Code Miko, Iron Mouse, Germa. Uh, those are the top three in my mind right now. Like, who else? Uh, let, let's see, who else? McConnell? No, 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 no. Uh, no, um, no, no, uh, no, no, I don't think so. I actually think that they should probably... Vebe? Yeah, but I already had, like, kind of, like, two VTubers, so I didn't want to go with a third one. Uh, like, I think that they could do a... It, Germa got two awards, Miko got one. Yeah, I mean, how could you invite Germa to a streaming award show and not at least give him one, right? It's what makes sense. So that's all I'm really trying to get at here. Is that avoiding the public? Yeah, yeah, you've got all these guys. Trainwreck TV. Yeah, exactly. There you go. No hit Jerome. Exactly. There you go. And so, uh, uh, Ice Poseidon, Lamau. Yeah, that would be great. It is a popularity contest. Yes, to a certain degree, Raffle Gator is another one. Yeah, Raffle Gator is great. So, um, like, I think it is really important to keep in mind that every single content creator, every single person, 
it's not just about the numbers that you put up on the show. And everybody thinks about this. They think about, look at the numbers, look at X, look at Y. And I think that Twitch viewers do, to a certain degree, live in a bubble. Twitch viewers correlate, and I know it's not you guys. You guys are way smarter than everybody else, okay? If you watch my stream, you're smarter than the average person. I'm talking about those other people, those other Twitch viewers that aren't as smart as we are, okay? So those viewers look at everything through the lens of viewer account. If you're a 5k Andy, you're a loser. If you're a 20k Andy, you're a winner. And that's it. They look at the thumbnail, they see the number, and they've already made their decision. They don't even know what's happening on the screen. They just know that it's good. So that's all it fucking comes down to for a lot of these people. So 20k is mid now? I think, dude, 20k is not mid. Like, if you are getting over, I think, 5k viewers, you're a big streamer. Like, in my opinion, like, you're a big streamer. Like, just because, like, oh, wow, like, you know, people get over 100k sometimes, that doesn't mean that, like, yeah, obviously that's the case. But it's, like, kind of, let me give you an example. Fucking Elon Musk is worth $100 billion or something like that, right? But would you call somebody that had $5 million not rich? No, I'd call them fucking rich. I'd say they're rich, let's be honest. So it exists on a spectrum, but it's all under the same umbrella. That's the way I see it. Mm. That's the good shit. Amarath, yeah. Uh, I, I actually think that you could make an argument that Amarath should get an award. Like, straight up, I, I do. And I know there's going to be people... What? But she just sews her boobs on camera. Like, yeah. But she does it so much. It's insane. It's like, what? She did? Good. Like, you know, I, I passed out. Like, I was fall I fell asleep. As soon as I ate my pizza, I fell asleep immediately. So I didn't get a chance to see it. Now, all I know is the ones that I saw on, on, my, on Twitter. That's about it. There's porn awards for that? Well, great. I, I, you know, why not both? That's exactly how I see it. Okay, the booba awards? I think, yeah, I think the booba awards would be great. Yeah, booba category? Absolutely. I mean, it is Twitch, right? So anyway, that's how I view about the, uh, the streamer awards. I thought it was a really great production. The stuff that I saw, I saw most of the entry stuff, and I woke up a little bit. I watched a few things, and uh, then I pretty much went to bed. And so, yeah, the event, I, I really think Cutie and uh, they, they did a great job. Like, wow, what, a, what an incredible event. You hardly ever see that level of production quality on Twitch. And again, the only other time that you see that level of production quality is from, in my opinion, iBuy. Like, he's the other guy that, that has that level of production quality. Like, us at OTK, we, we're working on it, right? We are working on it. We are doing our best. And we are working very diligently behind the scenes to do our best. But it's hard to get there, man. It really is. It, like, let me tell you something. It's fucking hard. Like, I, you, people could say, like, oh, you just turn on the camera. No, it's not. It's actually really, really difficult. So yeah, it's important to keep that in mind. And I want to say also with uh, OTK, I can, I was really surprised that we won. I thought that uh, I thought that other people were gonna win. I thought maybe you know 100 Thieves, Offline TV, somebody else would win. And, and yeah, thanks guys for voting for us. I really think it's incredible. Like I, the the thing is that this is one one thing that a lot of people might not realize with like OTK is that a lot of the people that are on camera are not even like a half of the amount of people that we have in the org that make it possible. Like we have so many people on staff, like there's the staff that you all know, like Sinek and Finn, and there's also a lot of staff that you don't know that are in the background making every single event possible. So if you're voting for OTK, please remember that it's not just the people that are, you know, like on the camera that are making this possible. It is all these people. Yeah, Jacob. Yeah, there you go. Uh, it it's absolutely massive. Like the OTK staff goes above and beyond. Young Jeff, that's another one, right? Young Jeff is getting more Twitter impressions than I am. Like he, he's he's actually, I, I feel like Young Jeff is more popular on Twitter than most of the owners of the org. 
It's just, I, I don't know how this happened, right? But it just did. And uh, there it is. How many staff do you have now? I, I'd have to count them and, and really think about it. I didn't, I don't have like a head count in my, in my mind, right? And we're also trying to get more people and, uh, you know, it depends on where we're at. But yes, we do have like, I'd say like, I don't know, maybe like 15, 20, like maybe? I don't know. I'd have to really think about it. Uh, yeah, ask tips about that one, okay? And so, yeah, it depends because we have other people that like are contracted, other people that are employed. It's, it's it, you know, it, it's, it's business stuff and I don't want to get into the business stuff, right?